So welcome back, here's another update from us. We have had a few CG issues that we had to solve. Um, you can see here the CG uh, placement after we decided to move the whole battery pack and uh, now it's within the range that it's supposed to be, it's about 10% um, margin in front of the neutral point which is the latter dowel symbol there and the red dot is the CG so at this stage we're confident that it's in the right place but we had to make this huge change which uh, took away the whole space on the passenger side of the aircraft because we uh, really needed to find a way to get that weight forward and the battery pack was uh, is heavier than the generator so uh, and it comes a little bit further back in the fuselage as well so um, the aircraft was tail heavy plus we had that heavy battery pack and it just turned out to be too much so uh, it was back to the workshop and um, getting ready here to create a um, new casing for the battery pack because of course when the battery pack goes next to the pilot what we need is something really rigid and solid there that um, can prevent the battery from um, from doing any harm to the pilot, so to speak. So it needed to be anchored in the seating position of the passenger properly, and here we're making a few flanges for that base because we uh, decided to make a railing system. When we were doing this, we could um, quite easily make a, a base that is flexible, there that basically makes it possible for us to move the battery pack during testing and manipulate the CG. So at this stage, the um, the um, the boards that we created were based on a plywood core, which is a really good way to create very rigid uh, um, walls if you want to make a box or something like this. So I laminated a piece of plywood on both sides, and um, of course it comes out quite heavy. But if you want something to be seriously rigid and hold something as heavy as a battery pack that weighs about 100 kilos. Uh, remember that it has to sustain a crash as well of um, about 9 G's so that's um, so this pack has to hold about a ton. So we decided to make a, uh, a rigid box and fixate the batteries to the um, belt fixtures in the um, in the passenger seat. So um, here we're just cutting out a few of these templates for um, for the base of the uh, the battery pack itself, and it's very um, it was quite a quick process. But um, in any case, it's never fun to go back to doing something as radical as this uh, so late in the process when we were hoping to have the aircraft at the airport uh, ready for taxi testing. But um, it just really had to be done, and something that we knew we were unsure about but after calculating it more we just figured that this is the um, the right way to go so here we're just lining up these um, walls on the base uh, this is after the uh, bottom flanges there were cured and here you can see the base a few days later um, rigid plywood pieces that have been laminated together and it creates this flat base for us to move the whole battery pack and casing on top back and forth. We can move it about 25 centimeters fore and aft and that should be ample, um, ample uh, leeway to be able to test the forward and aft CG uh, no problem. And here you can see the casing that was created um, based on the existing um, a structure that we had around the battery pack already and here you can see it open in the uh, passenger seat there and um, we just started to put in the um, battery modules again very carefully um, working with batteries is no joke this is a lot of um, there's a lo lot of power uh, in these um, boxes so it always has to you really have to think through everything you do with these um, it's um, it's a substantial risk to work with them so that's why I'm wearing these really uh, heavy gloves when I'm handling them uh, luckily Ramondas came by and helped uh, do uh, a few of the new cable linkages because of course we could reorganize quite a bit of the uh, the cabling to uh, have this uh, in place um, and after uh, uh, another day or two we could finally uh, connect all the uh, packs together again and uh, get all the um, cables sorted. 
So here I'm just working on, on fixing the cables to the, uh, the structure on top. So uh, after that we basically did a lot of new tests um, to just verify that the battery pack works the way it was supposed to and then uh, this weekend we, uh, we got a visit from our uh, test pilot Eskil and he finally got his hands on the aircraft which was a great uh, milestone that he can get into this and now start to get acquainted with the aircraft as we hope we will progress towards uh, test flights uh, quite soon. Um, but now first it's on to the taxi testing and running the aircraft from the ground. So um, yeah, two steps back but uh, we're on the right track again. So uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.